Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to take a look at how you can drive real-time facial performance in Unreal Engine 5.6 by simply using a webcam or using a headcam from the folks at Rococo. This is pretty easy, it's straightforward, and for those who are thinking about getting real-time facial performance on their characters and they would like to do this with any tool of choice, then this video is for you. So to get started, the first things that you need to do is to go over to Epic Games website and then download the Unreal Engine launcher. Now, once you've got that downloaded, you need to download Unreal Engine 5.6. Now, for those who haven't seen the video of how we did talk about how you can install MetaHumans, you can simply go ahead and reference that video. It's pretty easy, it's straightforward. You can install MetaHumans. And once you've got that ready, you can now simply launch Unreal Engine 5.6. And from here, you can start creating your very own MetaHumans few things to keep in mind is for you to start creating your metahumans if Unreal Engine 5.6 opens is to simply go over to edit, go over to the plugins and search for metahumans, turn on every single thing that has to do with metahumans and restart Unreal Engine. So you can see how straightforward that is. Now with Unreal Engine restarted and fully loaded, you can now simply right click, go over to metahuman and click on metahuman character. And once you click on metahuman character, this simply pops open and you can double click and from here, you can start finding your very own metahuman character. So you can define this character however you want. You can define the body however you want by simply using the blend or you can go through and use the conform. You can also use the sculpt if you want. The same thing applies to the head. So you can also define that as well by simply loading in a few blends that you can blend across. You can add a couple of freckles. You can change various parts of the character. You can also do some, you know, makeup if you want, change the iris, you know, do what of a cool thing that you want for this character and in our case we're also going to go ahead and add some good old beards to this character so we just simply go through add some beards just decorate this character a little bit make it look pretty cool and once we are good we can now come through and close it so once you're done clothing your character the next thing you need to do is to click on create full rig. This will go through and create both a face and a full body rig. The rig is very necessary for this video. So that is why you have to create the full rig. And once you're done creating the full rig, you'll notice a green assemble button pops up. Now, before you click on the assembly button, if you don't have the proper textures that you want, you can simply go ahead and download textures. You've got textures from 2K, 4K, all that. So if you want to get texture, you can click on that and get it now in our case we have everything that we want that green assemble button you need to click on that and it will go through and assemble every single thing that has to do with the character from the clothing to the hair you know all that stuff and once the assembly is done you can now go through save your metahuman character and close the metahuman window and you'll notice that you've got a brand new metahumans folder in here now inside of the metahumans folder is where you're going to find the blueprint so once you now have that ready, you can drag that and drop it right into your viewport. From there on out, you just need four steps to get things going. Now, before we talk about those four steps, if you already had a MetaHuman character, then you can import that MetaHuman character and skip the entire MetaHuman new character creation process. And with that out of the way, the first of the four steps that you need to get your character facial animation in real time with a live footage is this simple. The first step is to simply go over to Window, go over to where you've got Feature Production, and turn on live link. With the live link window open, we can click on add source and select meta human video. So once we have that selected, we can now do the second part of the whole thing, which is actually going in and selecting the kind of camera that we want. And from here, you notice we've got two cameras, the Insta360 link, which you definitely see the camera very soon. And we've also got the Rococo head cam, which is pretty nice. So in this case, just going to show you guys that all right so in this case we've got the rococo head cam it's pretty lightweight you can see that very easy to mount on the head so we can simply go ahead and mount this right and once we mount that you'd also notice something that this got about three different you know lighting intensity so we can go from nothing to one two and three so we've got three lighting intensity and this just brightens the face so that you can get a better capture just in case you're doing this where there is a low light okay so now that we have this we can also go down here and name our character so in this case i'm just gonna call this john dash zero one that sounds good and we are going to just simply click on connect you might also notice right here that we've got video format and we just want to leave things at the highest format possible to capture that detail and uh so once we've got that, we can click on connect and that automatically connects. And from here, once it's not seeing a face, this is what you're going to get. Okay. 
Now we want it to see a face and how we can do that is go over to the monitor section and then we're going to click on input video. And that is what we've got, you know, we're sort of distorted. So we go down, click right there and change this to 270. So once we have that, you can see that we are right there. So the third thing that you need to do is to just go in, close that, select this bad boy, and then you can turn on live link subject. So we can click on that, select the live link subject. Nothing happens. So what's the fourth thing? The fourth thing that you can do now is to go ahead and just turn on use live link. And once you do that, our character starts talking. And that's that's pretty dope. So at this point, if we move the camera, that sort of wiggles the camera, the character's head. So you can be like, no, 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 no. I mean, no, you know, so you can do something like that. And um, it just captures, right? So if you look directly into the Rococo camera, you would definitely notice that the cat, the, you know, the eyes are looking way direct. But if you look a little bit upwards, that's what you get. If you look downwards, that's what you get. So this now controls the neck, okay, or the head joint. So this does that. So once you simply just move around, you can see that. And ooh, we can, ha ha, we can make some expressions. And that's basically how you go from using your web camera or even using a head mount like this one, which I'm going to put links in the description for those who like to check it out. I guess there's a discount code as well. So you can use all that and get your character animating. Now, there's also this situation where you might want to use these in a sequencer. So if you would like to load this into a sequencer, it's as easy as just simply going over to, you know, any part you want to create the sequencer, right click, go all the way to level sequence, add that in, double click, open up the level sequence, and you can either click on add and then go over to, you know, add actor track and select the blueprint of your meta human character or you can go over to your outliner, click, drag, and drop it right here. So once you click, drag, and drop it, you will notice that our character is just there. You know, the animation is no longer working. The reason is because our face control board is there. So what we want to do is to get rid of that face control board. And you'd also notice that for some reason, this is still not animating. So once you fall into a situation like this, because I kind of think that this might be a bug, so once you fall into a situation like this, all you need to do is go over to the details section. You can go over to all and make sure you recheck the camera. So once you have that selected one more time, there you go. So you now have this thing, you know, animating and you can just go ahead and do all of the stuff that you possibly want to do. You know, if you would like to simply record this, you can go ahead and hit the record button and you can start recording. So in this case, if you want to say, hello, I'm here, I'm doing this and that, you can do that. So once you're done with that recording, this is going to be able to play back. So you now have this. So you now have that. You can press your playback and have that going. And that is, you know, basically how you can work with this. Now, if you're thinking about the full body stuff, we already made a video about how you can get a direct full body, you know, workflow into Unreal Engine with Rococo and for Unreal Engine 5.6, the updates for their Super Live Link, which is amazing by the way, is not yet there. Once that is out, we're gonna make a video about that so that you guys can see how you can do your full facial performance stuff. So the whole monocular feature that is now available in Unreal Engine 5.6 makes it super easy for you to start creating realistic, especially real time, and also post real time facial performances. We've already made a video for that one as well. So links to all of that is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at Epic Games and Rokoko for making this possible. So this is it for those who are thinking about checking this out. Possibly you want to get it. You want to try it. Links to all of this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video, or you like something about it, then you can simply go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.